Coming into Saturday's game, Kentucky had faced off against Tennessee 25 times since 1984. The 26 had the same finality of all those others as the Vols pushed their win streak over the Wildcats past the quarter century mark, 24 to 14, on senior day. UT failed to capitalize on its longest kick return of the season as freshman Derrick Rogers took the ball 78 yards to set up the Vols inside the UK 20 for the first possession of the game, only to see the drive end with a missed field goal. Kentucky jumped out to the game's first lead, but the Tennessee passing game more or less took over from there after falling behind 7 to nothing. Tyler Bray found Gerald Jones to help tie the score, and later connected with Denarius Moore to give UT its first lead at 14-7. Bray finished 20 of 38 for 354 yards and two touchdowns, along with two interceptions. Moore led UT receivers with 209 of those yards, including receptions of 49 and 44 yards, pushing him past 900 yards receiving on the season. After Kentucky tied the game at 14, Torin Poole put the balls ahead for good with a two-yard touchdown run near the end of the third quarter. Poole led the Vols' ground attack with 59 yards on 17 carries, putting him at 994 yards on the season. Daniel Lincoln added a fourth-quarter field goal for some insurance as the Vols went on to become bowl eligible, improving their record to 6-6, six 3-5 and six, three and five in the SEC. Tennessee's next games will likely be a late December bowl, with the Music City and Liberty Bowls both being mentioned as possible locations.